Today I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, set up an action in a custom GPT. Um, an action actually will allow you to connect to other data sources, other websites, uh, to link things with ChatGPT. So in this case we're going to do uh, a action that will send an email through uh, Gmail so that we can take things or output from GPT and send it as an email. Uh, we're going to use a third party app called Zapier which will, will actually create the action and then send the email through Gmail. Uh, Zapier can work with uh, um, everything from Google Docs and Gmail to any other applications that you may have. So if you have a different email application, they may be supported by Zapier as well. So you'll need to have a Gmail account and you'll need to have a Zapier account. You can create a Zapier account now if you don't have one. Uh, but as we go through it, there'll be a point where we'll ask you to either log in as Zapier uh, with your Zapier account or to create a new Zapier account. So you can do it as we're going along or as you're going along, following along, or you can do it before you follow along, whatever you like. So the first thing is you need to create a custom GPT. And so you go uh, to my GPTs and go create a custom GPT. And uh, I'm not going through all of the steps of that. You can create any GPT that you want. Uh, in this case, I went to the Create tab in G GPT uh, first, and then I told it to create a GPT that creates uh, numbered top five lists. And then I just basically accepted uh, the the um, the uh, name it made for the GPT and the profile picture and then I told it to, to suggest um, how this GPT should be written and then I just accepted that because it's just an example but you can use a GPT that you've already done or create your your own or a new GPT if you want uh, it uh, it doesn't matter you can do this with any, any GPT so we're gonna go to the configure now and you can see the instructions for the GPT has already been written. And it was written by ChatGPT with my instructions. So if we scroll down on this, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click Code Interpreter and Data Analysis. I always put that on because it adds some functionality to the GPT. Um, and uh, in addition to being able to write code, it, it can do things like, like this needs to be enabled if you want to save a file and such. But for this GPT and uh, this action, the code interpreter isn't e even really used. So you can leave that off if you want, probably, unless your specific GPT requires. All right, so I'm going to create a new action, and it brings up this screen, and there's an import URL. If we have this URL, it will it will bring in the schema or the code that we need in this box. So this is the point where we need to go to zap you. Now there's this URL which I'll put in the description of the video. It's called actions.zapier.com slash gpt slash actions. And this is where you create your action to send an email through Gmail. And so we're going to go... Uh, this is the point where it will ask you to log in or create an account if you don't already have an account. So I'm going to go add new action. And here we can search by the, the third party site uh, or the functionality of the action that we want. I'm just going to go Gmail. And it gives us these choices of what we can do uh, in Gmail. I'm going to pick Gmail uh, send email. It's going to ask me to can either uh, connect to a new account or select a previously connected account. Now, on these lines down here to subject body, it gives you a choice of having the AI guess the value or having you set the value. And so I'm going to set a specific value for the to field here. I'm going to let it guess the subject in the body. I'm going to show all options and I'm going to scroll down and uh, I'm going to make the action name uh, Gmail send email. And then we're going to click on enable action. So we have um, the action enabled here. The next thing we're going to do is once we have a thing here and it says equip your own GPT with AI actions. If we click on that, it actually brings up an instruction sheet for us. And if we scroll down, this first URL here is what we need to used to configure it. And if we go back here um, to the screen we were on before, if you'll remember, 
we went to, down to the bottom and create new action. So when we're creating a new action, we can go here and go import from URL. And we can paste that URL in, click on import, and it will write the code we need for us. Because uh, the only time you really need to worry about writing this code is if you created your own server that has an action that GPT will do, uh, which is beyond the scope of this video. And, and for most people, you're going to use a third party uh, website for the action. So now that we got that connected on, I'm going to hit this first test here. We need to allow it. It will ask us to allow Zapier. So it looks like it worked. Everything worked okay on that. This is connected to um, uh, Zapier.com without an issue. So now we need to take this arrow, go back here, and uh, we're going to go to this box up here, and we're going to expand this box. And we're going to go back to our instructions, and we're going to scroll down here, and it has rules. And we're going to copy all of this stuff right here. Yeah. Then we're going to go back in. And we're going to paste it right here. Now, under required actions, this is what we need to edit down here. And there are two actions. You can see it starts with a dash action. We're going to just delete the rest of that. And so this is our action. And we need the name of the action and the link. And so in order to get that, let's just get rid of uh, both of those now so that, that we just have configure link colon and action colon. And we're going to go back to our... Uh, actions at actionsappier.com and we're going to click on our send email action and we're going to scroll down and we're going to go show all options and we're going to scroll down and this is the name of the action that we want but we're so it's gmail colon send email i'm going to go ahead and change that and get rid of the uh, colon and i'm going to copy that so that i have the exact thing we're going to go done and so it changed that and if we go back here to where it has action name, we're going to paste that right there. The other thing we need is we need to go back here one more time and we need to copy the URL at the top of the page and we need to put that where the link is. So we're going to close that and now we should have everything in place. So we're going to go create. If you're doing this with the GPT you already wrote, it will just be update up here. So we're going to go that. I'm going to have it so only I can access it and we're going to view the GPT. So I'm going to ask it to uh, uh, what are the top five most popular travel destinations. I'm going to click on that and have it generate a list for me. So now I'm going to tell it to send me the list in an email. Now the first time you do this, it will ask you to connect to the account. Uh, but the uh, next time it may ask you to access it or confirm it. So I'm going to confirm it. So now it says the uh, email with the top five most popular travel destinations has uh, been successfully sent. If you need anything else, feel free to ask us. Right here is a copy of the email that it sent. So it went ahead and it sent me a list uh, via Gmail. So that's how you uh, create an action in a custom GPT.